It's going to be tough, uh, like any Tour de France, but um, it's with five five hilltop finishes that makes it, in in my eyes, harder than than last year's Tour de France. Um, cobblestones, which we haven't seen before, uh, or I haven't uh, seen before in, in a Tour de France, um, that's something we're going to have to prepare for specifically and I think um, look at very carefully at how we minimize our, the risks on the cobble day. Um, and then, then ending off with a, a 50 plus individual time trial um, before, before going to Paris. So that's, uh, in, in my opinion, make, making it a very well-rounded, balanced route and whoever wins next year's tour is, is going to have to be able to do a bit of everything. You, you mentioned that the mountain stages, the mountain top finishes are going to be really hard, but that's really what you want, isn't it? Because you're the person who can perform on them. How concerned are you about the cobbles? Um, yeah, I, I am looking forward to the mountain days. Uh, mountain days and, and time trials, I think, would, would be my strength. Um, but the, the cobblestones, the way I see it is there's, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to stay with all the other GC contenders on the cobbles. But I wouldn't expect myself to be able to follow the likes of Fabian Cancellara and Tom Boonen on the cobbles. That's, uh, th those, they're specialist riders in that respect. and. Um, I think for, for the lighter guys it, it might be a bit more of an issue. I've heard you mention that the cobbles makes it an unfair race because it's not necessarily the best rider that wins because of the risk of crashes. Do you still believe that? Oh, I, I wouldn't say it's an unfair race. I think we all have to do the same thing so it's 100% it's fair. Um, it, I think it would, it would just be unfortunate if, if someone were to lose the Tour de France due to a mechanical problem opposed to his, his ability. Um, Bradley Wiggins hasn't turned up today which maybe indicates that Bradley won't be taking part in the Tour this year. How do you feel about that and are you, are you happy with this route, doing it alone? <laughs> I, I certainly wouldn't be doing the Tour alone, that's, that's for sure. But um, yeah, Br Bradley didn't come today, but um, I, I think the, at the end of the day, the team's always going to select the, the nine strongest guys to go to the tour with, with the best chance of, of winning it possible. And uh, if, if Bradley's in that nine or not, we we'll, would we'll be obviously part of the, the performance team to decide. Um, but uh, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be there.